Hi everybody, welcome to the Premier Guns Review and today we're going to talk about the Breta 694. Um, as you can see we're outside once again at the fabulous Durridge Clay Sport which of course is where Premier Guns is situated. Just to give you an idea of the, the ground in the background, it's a Premier Plus facility which there's not too many of in the UK. We've got uh, Olympic ski, English ski, sporting, down the line, compact, everything you could possibly want. So as part of the package of coming to Premier Guns obviously you can use the shooting ground and, uh, and do whatever you want. Enough about the shooting ground, let's go on to the gun. So the 694 is the competition version of the 690 action, which has been about for about, I know, 10, 11 years now. The Breta 694, which is, is their latest competition gun, was launched back in 2020, so pretty much about two years ago now. And it replaced the 692, which was don't get me wrong, a really, really popular competition gun. It was available in sport, um, sporting, trap and skeet specifications. But I think it just got to the point where it needed a facelift. It had been out uh, knocking on for uh, about eight or nine years. And obviously Breta, as they are constantly doing in terms of improving their products, I had a look at it, decided it wanted a bit of a revamp. And the 694 is actually quite different to the 692. That's what we're going to look at. So. As with the 692, the 682 Goldie, which was the predecessor and previous 682 models, these are solely competition shotguns. You can't buy a small gauge like a 20 bore, a 28 or a 410. You can't buy a game version. They are out and out clay shooting machines and they're designed for a job. When you put the 694 up, the first thing I noticed was the difference in the radius of the stock in the pistol grip in particular to the previous model, which is the 692. Now we always thought um, that the 692 was a bit skinny, a bit fiddly. And if you got reasonable size hands, it was never really a gun that, that many people felt that comfortable with in terms of the stock. So the 694, I think um, Brett took a little bit of inspiration from a Japanese manufacturer in terms of they wanted something a little bit tighter, a little bit fatter in the comb and a little bit higher in the comb. I won't mention that model is, but I'm sure if you look at our other videos, you will be able to work it out. So that's the first thing I feel when I pick it up. Uh, it's much nicer in the pistol grip. It's a much better, much better feel. It's got a, more of a palm swell than the 692 did because the 692, in essence, compared to this, was a really, really skinny gun. Which, you know, in the UK, we've got shooters that are massive quite often and they've got big hands, you know, big arms, big legs, whatever. And ultimately, they need a gun that will you know, it will cater for those things. So 694, it's, um, it looks like a baby DT-11. It's not a baby DT-11, but it does, you know, physically it appears to be. So you've got the, the, the nickel action with the polished shoulders like you get on a DT-11, the standard Azuri blue line with a 694, really, really plain and quite smart, modern looking graphics. And what is an also a new feature of the 694 is if you look at the stock, it's got these grooves, a bit different, but ultimately no one has turned around to us and we've sold hundreds of 694s and said, I don't like that. So happy days. Um, moving on to the barrels. So the barrels are Stelium Plus barrels. So that means that the forcing cones in the barrels are 360 millimeters long, as opposed to 480 in the DT-11. But Having shot, I mean, I shoot a DT-11 and I've shot quite a few of these and it is a smooth shooting gun. And I think with the added weight of the, the, the fatter comb, which we'll talk about in a moment when we get to the woodwork, it just does feel really, really nice. So 18.6 um, tapered bores, Stelium Plus, 10 by eight tapered rib, which is standard on all Breta competition guns these days. Someone shoot in the background. Uh, ventilated as you would expect, Optima HP board, with Optima HP extended chokes. But again, we have sold these to people who want to shoot games, so we can put flush chokes in, not a problem at all. And you'll also notice there's a new fore-end design. Um, don't get me wrong, I don't know what this stuff does inside, okay? But ultimately, it makes it, it gives it a much more solid feel and it's all about longevity. So whereas you, with some guns, you might find you get a bit of a rattly fore-end um, with the sort of self-adjustingness of this, it doesn't do it. Slightly different design as well. So they've gone away from the, the sort of Schnabel and the London to this slightly sort of um, pointed it's it's still a round for them, but it's got like a quite a modern looking point at the end of it, with a sort of a nice little angle. And if I take the forearm back off, you'll see underneath that 
unlike previous models, well, the 690 Black Edition did have it. This has got the facility for barrel weights. Now, the gun doesn't come with it, but you can buy them at an extra cost. And if you feel it a bit whippy in the barrels, then you just put the barrel weights on and that should steady the gun for you. Okay, uh, available in 30 and 32 inch barrels, left and right hand, trap and sporting at present. There's no skeet gun. Um, I would assume, because worldwide, obviously Olympic skeet is a quite a popular sport, I would assume there are plans for a 694 skeet gun. I can't confirm or deny that at this moment in time, but I would like to see it. So moving on to the stock, we've already talked about the fact that it's a lot fatter than the 692, a lot deeper in the profile, tighter in the pistol grip. Uh, one key thing for me with this is that it's actually higher in the comb. So standard dimensions of a 694 Sporter are 35.50, whereas previously on a 692, you might even end up with a 38.60, which in essence is no use to man nor beast in terms of a stock dimension. Uh, Microcore pad is standard. Okay, so 14 and 5 eighths with the adjustable trigger, which is essentially the same as a 692 trigger. And it's got BFAS weights in the stock. So again, as you can with the barrels, you can tailor, tailor, tailor make the balance. You can customize the balance to your requirements. Some people like it heavier in the stock, etc., etc. You know, this is a direct competitor to the Brownie 725 Pro Sport. So do feel free to look at that video and then you can make your own comparisons that way. Okay. So we've talked about pretty much everything. Um, these are available with a B-Fast adjustable comb, both in trap and sporting specifications. Now, I'm gonna talk about that in more depth in a minute, because there's something I wanna educate people about, about the B-Fast system. Before we get to that, um, I'm gonna talk about the TS, the 694 Pro, a 2021 edition, I believe. And with the eventuality and the popularity of with the eventuality of ergonomic style stocks, obviously Bretta are keen to move forward with shooters' um, requirements and desires, and they have bought out a 694 basically with a TSK stock on it. For those who don't know about TSK, this is the Badger here. Okay, so the TSK stock, again, it's an Italian product, so you can see where the harmony is there. It's completely adjustable in terms of the drop at comb, the drop at heel, the pitch, the length, um, you can also adjust the butt pad so sort of tow it in or tow it out. In simple terms, a quite cost-effective option rather than having a, a custom-made piece of wood, essentially. The only downside with this versus the TSK stock that's available on the DT11 Pro is that the grip is a fixed size. So you can't actually change the size of the grip. Certainly in the UK, I would imagine it's possibly an option abroad, but every time we've sold one, it has come with a standard large grip. Um, but, you know, as a lot of these making their way onto the circuit, particularly in the skeet and the and the sporting dis and the tri trap disciplines, more and more popular for sporting as well now. Um, but you know, a really really smart bit of kit, really functional, really universal. And like I said, if you don't want to go to the expense and the trouble of having a custom made, you know, essentially a blank turned into a turned into a stock and have more adjustability, this is something you should certainly look at. Uh, 694 Pro, which is like I say, a 694 Sporter with a TSK stock on it. Now, just going back to B Fast adjustable comb, which is the factory Beretta adjustable comb, which replaced the awful memory system that they used to put in the 682 Goldie, which is dreadful. Okay, this is a lot better. The only thing is, there's a huge difference between the the height of the B Fast in its lowest position and a standard 694 fixed stock sporter. Just to recap in case I confused anybody, essentially when you put the two guns together, which I'm going to show you in a second, there is about a 10 mil difference between the B fast in its lowest position and the fixed stock um, version. So what that means is there's not a huge amount of um, adjustability in terms of the height when you're going up on the B fast. If you're a tall bloke, long neck i would look at a aftermarket adjustable comb conversion because you will ultimately get more height out of the stock but while we're talking about the wood uh, i'm just going to talk about the checkering and the grade of the wood yeah woodwork um european walnut standard oil finish and as you can see on the the bfast model here and on this fixed stock model 
really strong through the hand, really straight, which is essentially what you would have on a competition shotgun. Let's not forget these, these are designed to be going out shooting a lot of clays week in, week out. And so therefore strength and reduced recoil is absolutely a factor when um, the guys at Bretta choose what wood to put on these guns. Uh, nicely figures, you can see there's not, a, there's not a gun here which is particularly plain. They have got some nice bits of timber on them. The checkering, do you know what? I'm not that enamoured with it. I quite like the thing, the uh, the checkering on the fore end. As for the stock, it looks like someone's tried to draw, you know, an eagle, um, and not very well. But that's just my personal preference. I would prefer something a bit more traditional, like double point. But ultimately, they're looking to move forward in terms of what shotguns like look like physically and how they perform. So you know, hats off to Beretta. It is a bit different. And again, no one's really moaned about it. So you know it, it it obviously works for for the shooters um in terms of the package five extended choke optim hp chokes you don't get a spare trigger you just get the screwdriver to adjust the trigger to change the length of pull you do get a slightly longer pad and you do get a nice silver airline approved abs case with combination locks on and blue velour and stuff to stick in the loft so yeah, it's a it's a it's a newish model, only been out two years. I'm pretty certain it's it's here to stay. I think worldwide it's become a, a huge success story for Bretter already. I can remember that when they first came out in the UK, James Bradley Day is one of our one of our I think I would imagine he's triple A sporting shots. He went out first time and won some ridiculous amount of money with it. I forget what it was, but I know that he barely shot the thing, went out and blew everything to pieces. So in terms of shooting, it is a really, really smooth gun to shoot. The price point is absolutely aimed at, I would say, club level shooters and above. Um, it's only just really come out. So, like I said, we'd like to see a skeet gun version. There may be a black edition. Again, I couldn't confirm or deny that, but it would be nice to see it. On that point that I think this gun is here to stay and it appeals to a lot of people because of the price point and it, you know, it is an accessible amount of money to spend on a gun. As with everything, it's all relative. You know, if, if you're not doing that much shooting, then justifying having a gun that costs seven, eight, ten thousand pounds in the cabinet is probably not realistic. Whereas something like this, you can buy a gun that is a you know a sensible amount of money and you can still compete at the highest level with features that you would find in much more expensive guns and ultimately enjoy it. And that's what shooting's all about. It's all about enjoying it. So just, just to recap the models, we have got right and left-handed supporters, 28, 30, and 32 inch with a fixed stock. Also, you can get them with the B-Fast adjustable stock, same barrel length, same configurations, orientations. Uh, the 694 Pro with the TSK stock, which we talked about, is to my knowledge, only available in right hand. Feel free to, to, to comment and put me right on that, but I've, I've never seen one in left hand and I've never had the option to order one in left hand. Uh, they also do a 694 DTL, which is the name suggested for down the line shooting. Uh, this is available in 30 and 32 inch and is essentially a multi choke trap gun. So it has a slightly different profile for and like a beaver, semi beaver tail, and obviously a much higher stock. I think it's 32 42 on the trap gun. Now, this I completely forgot I'd got. This is the most recent addition to the 694 inch, and this is the ACS, which stands for All Competition Shotgun. So the idea behind this is it's got a high fully adjustable rib so you can change it for points of impact and coupled with that you have got a again be fast monte carlo adjustable stock um, for those that don't know the idea with highly monte carlo stock is a more head up shooting position uh, it can also help with eye dominance which we'll probably talk about in another video so this uh, is available in 30 and 32 inch again i'm fairly certain only in right hand so sorry for all you southpaws um, but latest addition to the range, really, really versatile this one because you can shoot trap with it, sporting with it, skeet with it, whatever you want. You can still put the barrel weights on, you still get the stock weights with it, but you can also adjust the rib and the stock. So what else is there to play with? Um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon.